almost like falling in love for the first time all over What's up YouTube Tech here this is iPad OS 17 so it's out for quite some time now so let's test out what's specifically new for the iPads because many functionalities are available across iPhones and Macs too as always let's start with the lock screen there are tons of changes and improvements for lock screen you can access it by long press just like iOS 16 now we can customize iPad lock screen and have multiple lock slash home screen setups in addition to iOS 16 wallpapers now we have more weather slash astronomy kaleidoscope and other wallpapers fun fact they are quite dynamic and reacts to certain things like tilting and unlocking but that's not all for the very first time we also have live wallpapers for ipads more specifically this isn't really live that you activate by 3d or haptic touch because this works automatically when you wake the ipad the live photo goes into motion for a few seconds and stops unlike actual live wallpapers though it is difficult to determine which live photo will have motion on the lock screen what exact expect ratio of the photo you will need whether you need to take a live photo or convert a video to live photo that is naturally all of this should work but as of now it doesn't i'm not sure if this is how it's meant to be or it's just a bug you will see that in future updates okay even this is not all for the lock screen widgets comes to the ipad with 17 they can now be placed directly on the lock screen unlike ios 16 you can place more than four widgets obviously taking advantage of the big screen and not just that they are also interactive now that means you can use them directly without actually going into the app like controlling music and home kit accessories and more by the way live activities also comes to the ipad with this update now with ipad os 17 health app comes to the ipads well you already know it's an ipad a bigger display so you have a lot more information without having to scroll to look through different data sets but with this basic upbringing of health app to the ipads now there are two new things called mental health and vision health and this is not exclusive to the ipads but let's just talk about it since the health app is now on the ipads so mental health which is something really important with this now you can log on daily about your mental state like emotions of like how you are feeling at the moment or how you have felt overall today and then you get to select what best describes you so according to this data of your information logged you will get a personalized questionnaire test right in the health app that you have to answer which will reflect your current state of mind and what are the necessary steps that should be taken further on like suggesting nearby healthcare centers phone numbers websites etc so that you can discuss and improve your mental state and in screen distancing a device with face id will let you know whether you are too close to the screen and will ask you to keep it at arm's length preventing myopia in freeform now there are new drawing tools watercolor brush calligraphy pen highlighter variable width pen and ruler and now you can also draw shapes with hands and it snaps into a perfect shape you can also work alongside your collaborators and your screen can show what they see on their screen with the new follow along and stage manager is more flexible now allowing you to resize windows any way you want there is a better autofill that allows you to securely use save information to fill a pdf or even scan documents you can also easily annotate pdfs if you import them in notes that allows you to write or sketch on a pdf in notes app with your apple pencil and with facetime a collaborator can make changes live in real time when you screen share your notes i guess this is it for the major changes and features of ipad os 17 what i think about this it's actually quite simple having customizable lock screen adding widgets to the lock screen bringing health app isn't completely new except for mental health features like last time they added weather app to the ipads taking a default advantage of a bigger display but in the ipad's perspective it is new it's all about perspective improving existing features like stage manager is a good basic thing which is important the live motion wallpaper is actually quite new i guess but that's pretty much it quite good and really helpful thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace